um, st stop the film. Stop this the film. Was my first. This was my first suit. suit the spaz. The spaz. And uh, here was my second suit, the parsnip. The parsnip. These were parts of my research. They were key and parts of my research and development. Eventually, I chose trionics, aka the, the soft, soft shell turtle. turtle, for my final suit design. So I went in to the lab to my laboratory. And I started to adjust my and files. Started tweaking my files, which is smart. You could try to sneak up on me in the lab, but, but my, my hearing, hearing is, is top notch. It's really top, top notch, notch in my materials my computer is portable and bring it with me pack up and be on the go at a moment's notice each night each night i go straight home and practice what i like to call linguistical fisticuffs i practice what i like to call linguistical fisticuffs. i practice linguistical fisticuffs hey hey you ass face yeah i did call you ass face because your face looks like an ass jackass i'm here to take the title come on tough guy I'm here to take the title right now. In time, I finished my research. Finished my research. And I, so cut, I cut the, the patterns, patterns out. Patterns. And I began to build. And built the suit. And I built the suit. Cut the patterns, built the suit. Once the suit was built, I uh, I put it on so that I could take it off the beaten path. Yeah, take it off the beaten path. Put the suit through its paces. Which is part of uh, my research and development. That's part of the R&D process. R&D is short for research and development. The R, the is, R is the research. It stands for research. The D stands for development. D is the development part. R and D. R and D. It's R and D. It's not R N D. It's R ampersand. Ampersand D. Uh, ampersand is shift seven on your keyboard, keyboard or your typewriter. Typewriter. Uh, you hold down the hit the, the shift shift key and then you type seven. Regardless, you get an ampersand. ampersand. It's all research and development. R and D. Soon I knew I was ready to fight Godzilla, Godzilla so I, I, I knew I was ready to fight Godzilla. I show up, and uh, I went over, and I started to warm, warm up, up a little bit. I warmed up a little bit, and, and, and of course, uh, he's... And of course, he, he's a freaking no-show. He's, he's a freaking no-show. No he skipped out on his own damn he movie. He skipped out on his own damn movie. On his own movie. Which was a downer, but I was ready. I was ready that day. So I go home and then I close my eyes for a bit because I know the importance because of resting. Because I know the importance of rest. I find that rest is very useful. Even when I rest, I, I really focus my resting energy. And then I, in my resting, in my resting time, I, I dream about... I dream about fighting monsters. Fighting monsters. Uh, when I'm sleeping or resting. very focused in forms of martial arts. I've been practicing martial forms. Uh, I have some of my own techniques that I've been working on with various kicking and, and scratching. Much like karate. These are things that I, I practice. Ideas that I've been implementing uh, and putting into practice, especially in my rest time. Then I wake up. When I am awake, I hit the streets. I I really pound the pavement. I pound the pavement. I pound I pavement. Hit the streets hard because uh, I'm searching. You know, I'm out on the streets. He's hiding now, and he can try running and hiding, but he can't hide forever. He can't do it forever. At least I don't. At least think I don't think it's possible to run and hide forever. That would, I mean, I guess he couldn't do it forever. That's my hope. That would suck. That would really suck if he ran and hid forever. forever. Um, well, I know. I know you couldn't run. You forever. couldn't run forever because you'd you'd get dehydrated. You need dehydrated and tired. Hurt your knees. And your knees would 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 hurt. You might be able to hide forever. A quality hiding spot. I guess spot. you could hide if you had water. If you had food, food and water. Like if he was in a grocery store, an aisle of grocery hiding, store. That would be a good spot. That would be a good spot for hiding because you have both food and water. I hope he doesn't do that. I'm hoping that that's not the case. Anyways, I'll be I'll be searching. I'll be searching.
Dan was a good boy. Bill. Sorry. Is a good boy. I just don't understand why an adult man has to go searching for something that don't exist. I mean, Christ, I'd have been happy if he sat downstairs all day and played with his dingling. Tammy, don't do that. It's gross. I think in order to catch a leprechaun, most of the time you gotta dress like one. Cause if you come up on one in normal street clothes or one time I came up on one with my little league baseball gear on, they're gone. Welcome to Dairy Queen. Can I take your order? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and you gotta understand, Dan's one of those guys, like, like he's the kind of guy that like mixes Coke with Pepsi, and he's like, it's like, what's the point? <laughs> Leprechaun this and leprechaun that. <laughs> it was kind of cute. But. Hey, Shelly, you want to come over for a beer? Right there. Right there. What? I saw it in, in 2008. I saw a leprechaun here. I mark it. It's pointing this way, which means two miles north of here was where I found another one a year later, and I marked that one too. <laughs> what would you do if you saw a leprechaun? I'm kind of scared of leprechauns. But you do karate and stuff. Aren't you like a green belt? Or I saw a leprechaun, I'd be like, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. What, what kind of leprechaun? No, what? Josh, you're supposed to say action. Action. You're supposed to say action. action. Don't say, Ac quit saying action when I action. say action. No, stop saying action. Okay. Do you know the question? Is there something that triggered your interest in leprechauns? Is there something that triggered your interest in leprechauns? Is there something action. that- Action. Action. Okay. Is there something that triggered your interest in leprechauns? Well, yeah, when I was in the, you remember, when I was in the Boy Scouts, and we were on that camping trip. I heard all the boys laughing at Danny, and when I asked, what's going on? I remember Derek Bowers saying, Danny saw a leprechaun! He says he saw a leprechaun, yeah! And of course, I'd tell the boys to, to quit picking on him. Teasing? It just didn't stop. I was on the very tail end of all the boys, and I that's where I first saw the leprechaun. Josh, there's two different types of leprechauns, because some of them are really grumpy, and it's mostly because they're like 300 years old. Uh, is that like those ones like in that movie, The Dark Crystal? No, those are Gelflings. Now there's a chance I was putting him under a little pressure to either, you know, come to work for me at the plant or show some frickin' proof that these leprechauns he's looking for actually exist. Well, Bill had just gotten into an argument with Danny and he was getting pretty darn fed up with him not chipping any money for rent. And he told him, either get a job or go find a goddamn leprechaun and take some of his gold. When they got that camera, ugh, and then they started recording stuff, it was scary. 
really creepy. This is spooky. But you know, maybe there is a leprechaun in the forest. Uh, I came over and he was like all discombobulated or something because like his dad was being a total dick and like he like snatched the camera out of my hand and he was like just stomped off all up into the woods and I was like chasing after him. He's like, he's like, turns around and he's like, he's like, dad, you fucking didn't put a you know, the battery in the camera. And I was like, he's called me like every name under the sun. And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I got all hurt. And I was like, hell with you. Just go off and get your own leprechauns, you know, do it by yourself. And then like he went in the woods and like, Well, I'm, I'm looking for leprechauns alone today because Josh, we got in an argument and he bailed on me. So I set some stuff up down here, a couple traps with some um, pop rocks and uh, little smokies. I'm gonna go see what I can find. Figured I'd show you all this. This was on our front doorstep on the morning of March 17th of this year. It says right here, rent money, some sort of smeared handwriting. Here, look at this. Sheriff tried to find fingerprints on it. And he found some, but he wouldn't tell us whose they were. I'm hoping they're Danny's. I hope he's okay. Morning, Stu. ID. Your donor? Yes, I'm still a donor. All right, sign in. How long are you staying? An hour, maybe. Maybe? Maybe 45 minutes. All right, what's in the bag? Kale, a little bit of milk. I got those otter pops you like. Okay. Thank you. Jerry! Oh, hey, Tucker. How's it going? It's going good, man. I got your favorite. A little whole milk for you. Awesome. You get Stu's Otter Pops? Have I ever forgotten Stu's Otter Pops? You wanna have some tea? Yeah. You wanna stop doing tricks on your bike and sit down? Sure. This tea cost me $4,000 a gram. It's made out of Peruvian oyster spawn. That's really good. How have you been? I've been good. Uh, I've been working out, doing some Zumba, and, oh, uh, Stu got me a gun from South America. Oh my god, man! You wanna try? Put it away. This is the kind of stuff I've been talking about lately, man. You're going stir crazy up here. Now, I wasn't gonna say anything, but Tiff's best friend's husband just died. Since she's on the rebound, thought maybe the four of us could go get a couple glasses of sake, see a romantic comedy. No. If it works out, you know, all I'm saying is you wouldn't have to be alone up here all the time. I'm not alone up here, okay? I have everything I need right here. People treat me different ever since I got my money. I don't know why. How long have I been your friend? Since birth. I know, and how many times have I let you down? Twice. One time. Trust me, okay? I see this girl, and she's got this thousand yard stare that reminds me of you. What I'm trying to tell you is, she's perfect. Fine. I'll go outside. Drink up. <sighs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Michelle. Oh, so he's a millionaire? Mm, he's loaded. <laughs> <laughs> he's not the only one. But is he attractive? Terribly. Hey, guys, sorry I'm late. You must be Michelle. Hi. Enchanté. Oh. Nice to meet you. Tucker. <laughs> Who the fuck are you, man? It's me, Jerry. Hey, so I see you guys already got started. What'd I miss? Not too much. I heard that you're a professor. That's correct, of behavioral economics. Ah, I know it very well. You want to know how I feel when I spend my money? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Stu, huh? Jerry! ID. When are we going to get past this, huh? When are you and I going to cross this little bridge, Stu? You a donor? Yes, I'm a donor, God damn it, Jerry! Jerry! Hey, Tucker. How's it going, man? Man, have you heard of jazzercise? Jazz-infused exercise. My favorite new hobby with the thing I love the most, jazz. Well, what the hell was that last night, man? <sighs> that was a good time. I had a blast. You had a blast? You weren't even there. Who the hell was that guy? <sighs> that was Jerry, my social proxy. That's me when I'm out there. <sighs> Pretty cool, huh? No, it's not cool. You're yelling at me, Tucker, in my own home. That's not what I'm trying to do, Jerry, but we gotta figure this out. What would Michelle say? I'm thinking Michelle is ready for round two. We already have a second date lined up. I know, man. Obviously, you guys had great chemistry. I'm not disputing that, Jerry. Seriously. No! No, Jerry! We're not having this conversation, okay? Jerry! Jerry! We need to talk. What do you want, Tucker? Stu, can we get a moment, please? I'm sorry I yelled at you. I just care so much. You're treating me like I'm a baby. I'm sorry. I don't know what you want. I'm doing the best I can. I want you to lose the proxy. That date the other night was for you, and instead you sat on the sidelines with Quiet. I need to think. Please do. Be Tiffany. I am. I heard a lot about you. Oh, awesome. Hey, come on in. Thanks. Come on in. Hey, whoa. ID. Man, this is fucked up, Stu. How you doing, man? Sounds like things with Michelle are going great. Yeah, I'm sorry I haven't called. We've just been spending all our time together. How'd that other Jerry take it? Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. It wasn't easy. I'm proud of you. It's great to finally see you living your own life for the first time. Oh, yeah. She's actually coming over pretty soon, so I better get ready. <laughs> I can take a hint. Did you just lie to our best friend? I'm a millionaire, Jerry. We're lone wolves. You know, I'm starting to think that Tucker's right. About what? Don't think that I don't see it. You are all alone up here. But it doesn't have to be that way. Michelle's an amazing girl. Remember that time we went ice skating? That was our first kiss. That time up on Capitol Hill during the picnic? She told me about her love of horses. That's true love. She just wants me for my money. No, she doesn't. She loves you for you. You really think so? Yeah. Well, I don't even know what to do. You gotta start being Jerry all the time. I am Jerry. You're Jerry. I'm Jerry. You're Jerry. You're Jerry. No, no, you're Jerry. You're Jerry. I'm Jerry. Nice to meet you, Jerry. I'm Carson. Now let's fix this tonight. Yes. After we cut those fucking nails. To us. To us. Now how about we move us somewhere a little more comfortable? Oh, yeah. Jerry will be right in. You look like an angel. Who the fuck are you? Um, uh, I am... Um, Jerry!
echo him in position. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We having problems with the toilet? Over here. What's up? Is this a surprise party? Shh, I need you to shut the fuck up, Alex. Okay. Red Eagle's in position. Take my hand. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to keep hurting you, but uh, you're of no help to me. Would you uh, like to call your little daughter before we kill you? Sure. What time is it? She should be getting out of recess. I mean, it's noon. 12 o'clock. PM. Perfect. Did you give her a call? All right, so uh, you help us, we help you. That is uh, how this works, right? You want help? I love help. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Oh, great. I love secrets. They're my favorite thing in the whole fucking world. You're not gonna like it. Oh, I think I'll love it. He's not gonna like it. Oh, he'll love it more than I will. He loves secrets. Yeah. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Okay, good neighbor. State Farm is there. <laughs> Nobody move or I blow this fucking State Farm agent's head off. I will fucking do it. Don't fucking tempt me. Hope your policy covers holes in your face. Ah. Oh, I did it. Good one. I know. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> That's right, buddy. They're dead. All right, how do we how do we do this? What's the what's like, like a, a good, good neighbor? <laughs> State Farm is there in my office. All right, what's up, YouTubesers? Uh, we're back today. We're enjoying this fun uh, turkey day with uh, family, and most importantly, my girl. We're just from Walport, Oregon. Shout out to Walport. Woo woo. Yep, yeah. Uh, we are great people. Yeah. We value things like logging, hunting, more of a hands off approach when it comes to the government, and most importantly, sharing uh, quality time with our friends and family. We just want to share with you our favorite turkey recipe. Let's get started. Mm. Can't do that without bird. No. Nope. And on Turkey Day, we're going to use Butterball Turkey because that's what Thanksgiving's all about. Oh, fuck. We did step one. Just want to say, uh, you can go to Les Schwab, get your tires changed, uh, and they actually right. give you a free that's bird. Good. So that's just a uh, oh. free food. Got the bird. Step two, it's going to hit up the old uh, red box stuffing. Classic. Can't miss it. Pop it open. Take a bowl. Really, any bowl will do. Okay, you're just going to open the bag. Dump it in. Just take oh, a... Yeah. Oh. Step three. What you're going to want to do for step three is take a, just a normal kind of American grocery style pear and soak it in brandy overnight. And that's going to take this recipe to the next level. So you're just going to go like that. Yeah. And then you're going to cut it in half. And then you just cut it into pieces like that. Just imagine if you're cutting. That'll do. And then what we're going to do is take that brandy. You know, any kind of brandy. Just get it brandy. Pour that over the pear like this. Just like that, and then you're gonna want to, you know, mix it around. Make sure everyone, everything's happy in there. Yeah. Having a good time together. That's gonna take your recipe to the next level. Fuck. I'm not doing a good job on these. Step four. So you're gonna take uh, just some cream-filled cookies. Not Oreo. Nothing special. I just got these off the Dollar Tree. Doesn't really matter. Drop it down. Oh. <laughs> oh. What up? Don't All mess right. around. <laughs> Three sixteen. Steve Austin. Three sixteen. Steve Austin. It's gonna do a few of those. Dwayne Rock Johnson over here. That's the people's <laughs> elbow right there. Show them. Show them. Right, right there. You're just going to take your cooks, drop them in. So you got your cookies, uh, your stuffing. Those are good. And you got your pear uh, mm. soaked in brandy. Uh, so that's all your dry ingredients. 
I'm hungry. Step five. We'll stuff the bird. All right. You're just gonna flip her over. Oh, Ooh, yeah. yeah, doggy. Pop her open. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's how we do it. I, what, what is this? <laughs> That's a gizzard. If you can't get it out, the little plastic in there is ain't gonna hurt you. All right, so you're just gonna take your dry ingredients. Can I go ahead and stuff it, babe? Please, I appreciate that. All right. She's done that. Here, let me hold it for you. <sighs> We're gonna be moving on to the liquids now, the wet stuff. Now this is gonna take this recipe to the next level. Yeah. Now, we're gonna be using uh, motor oil. I'm gonna be using an STP5W20. And now here's the trick, other guys won't tell you, is uh, don't go using fresh motor oil. It can be used. Run this through a 250 for, I don't know, 3,000 miles. And that's gonna up the carbon content and give it a nice toasty aroma. Mm -hmm. Don't gotta overdo it, you know, three to four handfuls. Let's get yeah, about one. one. Get you to get some Two. in there a little bit. And then three, it's okay if you get some cookies in your fingers. Right. Yeah, and then you're gonna want to get a little under the skin. You can just do that by going inside and lifting up. Get it under there. And I'll tell you what, this, above all else, is really gonna up the moisture content in this turkey, and it's gonna take the recipe to the next level. All right, now that she's stuffed, we can go ahead and bag the old bird up, and uh, we're gonna be using an inner tube. Oh. I just want to say, you yeah. went to Les Schwab Tire Center to get your tires changed, ask for your old tire, and they'll give it to you, your old inner tube tire, and they'll give it to you, and you can just use that. So that's free on top of free. <clears throat> just going to take it, slit it down the middle. So we got a little bit of weed eater trimmer oh, yeah. string. Uh, we're going for a 1.65 mil. And lace it up like you normally would a pig skin or whatnot. Let's uh, bag her up. All right, so we're just going to lift her up by the legs, slide her in, tuck that wing in. Yep. That wing, tuck it. Slide. Turn around. YouTube can see. Check that out. Yep. Uh, tie her up like you would a hog. Nope. Secure that with a ratchet strap. All right. Well, now that she's stuffed and bagged, we're ready to cook her. So what you're going to do is preheat the oven to oh. 425. Wait. All right. We're going to do something a little differently. All right. All right. We're going to save money, and we're going to cook the turkey at the same time. Sounds Here's great. how you're going to do it. You're gonna go outside, you're gonna clear your fire pit out. All right. You're gonna take the turkey and you're gonna put it in the fire pit. Check. Uh-huh. Then you're gonna cover that with trash. Done. Okay. And then you're gonna pour gasoline on top of it. Got that. And then you're gonna light the whole thing on fire. Bingo. Gotta yeah. burn the trash anyhow, You so. sure do. It's a great time to uh, sit around a fire with your family. Make sure to have a pack of wiener dogs ready. Yeah, it's a good snack while you're waiting for that turkey. And then your bird's cooking in two hours or something. My favorite part about that tip also is it's going to add a charbroiled taste to that turkey, which is going to take this recipe to the next level. Yeah. All, All right. right. Check it back here when uh, bird's done. All right. Uh, turkey's done. Yep, we're back. Uh, it took about six pack. Double packs of wieners. Actually, pretty Still, full. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty yeah. moist, honestly. You know, it's charbroiled, like we said, to get that charbroiled taste. Well... Thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, Make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button, YouTubesters. Yeah. Until next time, keep your saws sharp, sharp your, your guns, guns loaded, your, your beers, beers cold, and your, and your government's hands off, off our, our turkeys. turkeys. Go dogs! Got it right here. Don't ever back down. That's my wife. All right. Hey, let's do y'alls. All All right. Yip do. Oh, wait. Let's do a yip do. Okay. Yip. Oh. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Ciao. All right, babe. They got it. <laughs> Let's do one together. All right. Whoa. Oh, no. You are a piece of work. Denny, cut. Denny, you're eating this, you dumb <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> you're eating this, you dumb shit. Let's make him eat it. I ain't fucking touching this thing. <laughs> We've been working on this for a long time. Glad y'all get to see it.
really freaky because I look and sound just like you, but I need you to be calm for a second. I'll explain. Around that corner is a time machine. Now you absolutely have to trust me uh, because I'm you. Uh, I mean, if you can't trust me, uh, you can't trust anyone, really. What the hell? This is impossible. Uh, I mean, how are you doing this? Are you, are you some sort of hologram? I, I knew you'd react this way because, well, I'm you. I know exactly how you think. Oh, you once tried, uh, unsuccessfully, to masturbate with four bagels held together. Uh, you still have a photo of Katie Johnson in your wallet. Hey, Glenn. Have a kick-ass summer. XO, XO. Go ahead, check. You have one, too. You know you do. Wow. Wow. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Not too close, man. <laughs> That's where things go haywire. Look, I, I, I've said too much already. Um, unfortunately, the reason I'm here is to... Uh, well, dispose of you. Oh, holy shit! No, wait, wait, wait. There's no way that you're me. I've never even held a gun. Where did you even get that? I would never do this. There's a gun in the time machine with strict instructions to make sure you kill your past self because that's what ruins time travel. I mean, it makes sense, really. You're not actually dying. I'm you, remember? So the Glenn legacy lives on and now a little wiser about time travel. No, wait! I, I mean, if this is all true, then why, why, why would you even tell me any of this? I don't know. I feel you deserve to know. Wrong! It's because you don't have the balls to do it, hence why I'm here at this exact moment. See, what really happens is that you two idiots figure the best course of action is to send Glenn number two back into the time machine again to stop the original Glenn from ever going in, but with a new plan to try to do it without revealing himself. So that must be you, and the plan didn't work. Damn, you're a clever son of a bitch. But it goes deeper than that. I'm actually Glenn number five. Glenn's three and four are hiding behind that dumpster over there. Uh, nope, nope, you stay there. I'm gonna fix this, and I don't need your opinions messing it all up. What makes you think you can fix it this time? I don't have a plan at the moment, but the fact that there's no Glenn number six trying to stop me right now only proves that I will be successful. And the reason none of you other Glens thought of a solution is because I am, in fact, the original Glenn and the most experienced one here. I thought I was the original Glenn. We're all the original Glenn, just at different sections of his journey, which is why I have to kill every one of you right now. Shut the fuck up, Glenn. We all know you aren't gonna pull the trigger. It, wh 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 what would you do with four Glenn bodies anyway? <laughs> what if I just decide not to go into the time machine and destroy it instead. Would you all just disappear? Nope. That's not the way it works. Once we're here, we're here. Well, have you ever tried? Okay, whatever, go ahead. Right now, make a pledge to not get into the time machine. Let's see if anything happens. Okay. Holy shit, it worked. It did, but only part way. I mean, you're still here. Are the other glands behind the dumpster gone? Yep. It's down to just you and me. Which can only mean one thing. The temptation was too great when I finally find the time machine and I got in anyway and created you. I must have realized after seeing you that I must stick to my pledge for real this time and actually not get into the time machine to prevent any more Glens from being made. Damn. What's wrong? You just figured it out. Well, that means that all you have to do to set things completely right again is to decide right now to actually not get into the time machine. <laughs> well, shit. This is it then. That was the craziest five minutes of my life. Yep, well, good luck out there. I learned a lot about myself. You better do it before I decide to shoot you. We don't have the balls. Right. Well, bye, Glenn. Uh, that's that, yeah, that too idea? weird for yeah. sure. No. Uh, all right, well, bye. Bye. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. It's pretty cool. <laughs>
it's a lot more awesome than you're anticipating right now. But 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 seriously, you have to destroy it. Okay, okay. Got it, got it. <sighs> but what if I just use the time machine to go see some dinosaurs or something instead? Okay, you know what? This isn't gonna work. I'm gonna be the Glenn. Welcome back to a crafty crafter noon. Chris. Okay, but we'll wait until that part comes and I'm gonna say that you are Chris. I'm Mandy. This is Chris. Then this you is just, Mandy. Okay, no one introduces me but me. And today we're gonna be making holiday votives for your Thanksgiving Day table. We're gonna take a simple votive and we're gonna apply some little craft flowers on it. Okay, if your hand comes into frame, we can't use that shot. So if you can just stay out of shot, that'd be great. Set the flower down so we can start over again. Is this a live set? No, it Try. stays there. Okay, Try. can you stop? I'm just gonna take a moment for myself. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, it's Mandy with the Crafter Crafter Noon. I'm Fuck. Chris. <laughs> We're back with a crafty crafter noon. It's crafter noons. It's crafter noon. It's crafter noons. No, it's crafter noon. We're gonna take a simple votive and we're gonna apply some little craft flowers on it. And these can be used for Thanksgiving, which is nice. It's a nice fall tree, a little pop of color now that we're deep into fall. If you can stay on that side, please. So we'll start with a votive. I like to pre-pop all of the wicks. We take a bouquet and a simple craft bouquet will do. Can you is there a reason that we need gaff tape right now? Yeah, his mark's kind of getting a little weird. Thank you. And we're back. We're back. I'm Chris. We're back Welcome with the back. crafty crafter. Okay, I'm gonna have to start from the top. Then we're gonna take this little sunflower, we're gonna pop it off. It's just Wait, a simple pop. Hey, can, scissors. can you? We take our hot glue gun, which we've been warming up for about three to five minutes. Try because, to say votive more, Mandy. People like votives. I'm sorry, did you write the script? So we'll take the votive. We'll just apply a little bit. It's just a dab will do you. I like to use black glue because it's a little bit more durable for stressful family gatherings. And I know we're all grateful for the family and friends that we do have and the wonderful food that everyone provides, but it can be a tough and stressful time of year. And a little pop of color goes a long way in mitigating stress. Should he say your guests will love it there? I think Is it written in the script? Tell me that. Oh, are you the script supervisor now? I didn't realize that. Okay, can you give me some coffee? Because I think you're just a PA here. Crafty, crafty. Hi, we're back with a Crafty Crafter Noon. I'm Mandy and this is Chris. Welcome back. Okay, I'm gonna say that part. Press and hold, and there you have it. That's all you need for a wonderful holiday centerpiece. It's a great way to make your family feel grateful for your, what the fuck is this? This is my votive. This is your votive. Do you feel proud of this? Mm -hmm. Are you a little embarrassed about what you did? Yeah. I went to bat for you to get you this job and this is what you make? Look at me, Chris. We get people to watch our show because they like to craft. They don't like to see mm. Can you, Chris, okay. don't look at him. Okay. He's just a PA. This is garbage. Don't look at him, Chris. Are you crying right now? You need, you need a little five minute break. You just need a little break. Go have a fucking licorice stick, you piece of shit. Oh yeah, hot glue all over your fucking Quiet on set. I'm just gonna go into fetal position. I just need a moment. Just give me a fucking minute. Welcome back to a crafty crafternoon. So we're gonna do the crafty uh, votives 
I have, can you stop? I'm trying to take a moment for myself, and I can't do that when you guys are having this ongoing conversation and all of this dialogue happening. It's hard for me to have my inner dialogue going, okay? We might as well just put stress in the middle of everyone's table so they can feel stressed out about the fucking crafts that we're making. Is this gonna make you have a grateful Thanksgiving? I don't fucking think so. 10, nine, can, can we just keep the silence? You need a new market, Nando? Quiet on set! Can somebody fucking quiet? Cut. I'm Chris. We're back. Jesus. It's been a crafty crafternoon. Thanks for joining us. Happy crafternoon. I just said that. Your Hot. guests will love them. But who the tweet but who squid and squid on? I bet you're wondering, how did he just do that? The thing you need to know about scat is it's very similar to the Brazilian art of dance fighting, known as capoeira, but for your lips. Squeeze, squeeze, zibi, doot, and zap, cha, cha, fa, fa, hoot, see, su, zibidi, boink, zoinks, zing, goink, goink. The power of scat truly lies in the throat chakra, but also the groin chakra. I'm here to teach you the methods and the techniques. Anybody can scat, okay? Let's hear it. Scat is a linguistic river. Um, I don't know if you've ever gotten really high on green tea, but it's the same feeling. What I really love to do is I like to go up to a random stranger and just let them have it, scat away. They love it. They get a kick out of it. Animals line up, you can move with your fingers, you can play with them how you feel. I've dipped it back to the scale, wheel, da 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 da, dippity 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 da. Shopping for some tambies, it must be that time of the month. Da do 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 Real music and real people, reaching out to the common man, spreading joy. Hey, bud. Hey, pal. You seem down on your luck. You look like you could use this quarter. Scat, 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 a root and dat, scrub it at da da boom, she scat, scat. I like you. Fup, fup, five, a root, that root, and scrape, scree out, yeah. Wanna get a beer? What is scat? How is scat? Why is scat? Intonation, cadence, reefers, gibberish. Scat can be born out of any sound. A farm animal? Oinky donkey 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 do. Or a train? A chooby 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 dooby too too. Or something as simple as just a couple words. A couple words. Absent father? Fuck you, Billy! Spoiled prick. I buy you a new Nintendo every goddamn six months, it feels like. I get you a PT Cruiser, near mint condition, with tinted windows, and I'm the absentee father. I don't even know why I asked you to do this. I'm just trying to make a video so I can make money for you and your mother with her severe peanut allergy. She keeps eating peanut butter. I tell her not to. She can't stay out of the goddamn hospital. It's bleeding me dry, Billy. God. Bib and bap, beef bulgogi, Korean barbecue. Did I reinvent scat? Maybe, probably yes. I've never slept with Tony Bennett. That lie got way out of hand. 
Helen Hunt, maybe. I'm Delfonso Crimson. Let's have a scat. Poop, 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 poop.